Hey everybody, give me a few minutes here. It's Pastor Best. We need to talk about COVID at MBT. A couple different things. Number one is some people are still wrestling with when is the right time to come back to MBT and, and to help you make that decision, we need to consider your personal risk. Okay, what is my personal risk of getting COVID or getting seriously ill if I do get COVID? And for that, I'd recommend this one thing. Get a good assessment of your personal risk using real numbers. So for instance, you can go to kcmo.gov backslash coronavirus. They've got coronavirus information there with real statistics from, from the county in which I live. I can go there. I can see how many people have had COVID. I can go to the age demographics and see how many people my age have gotten, you know, or died from COVID. And I can come to a real assessment of personal risk. And then I have something to pray through, something to work with. This would be uh, a better way of going about assessing your personal risk than if you just listen to the politicized media pundits who are trying to get you to vote this way or that way and all their data is skewed. Don't do that. Get real data based on your age, based on your health concerns. See what your personal risk really is. And then just pray through making a, a wise decision on is it time to come back and join the body physically or, or are you going to continue to, to do Zoom and, and, and stay connected best you can online. The second issue is this. This is for everybody, for us corporately to consider COVID. COVID is everywhere. It's at Midtown. It's We're not going to be able to get away from COVID. So what do we do in light of that? And here's the thing. The real message is we want to minimize exposure. Exposure to COVID means you're a household contact of somebody who has known or suspected COVID, or you've spent 15 minutes or more in the presence of someone six feet away who has uh, COVID or has suspected COVID, okay? Now, if you're singing, it, it's less than 15 minutes, but otherwise just normal activities. There's nobody coughing. There's no aerosolized droplets. We're just talking about, about spending time. It would be 15 minutes. So if you, so, so let me give you two scenarios. The first scenario is you come to Tuesday night prayer and you pray with somebody and you're five feet apart. You're not wearing your masks. On Thursday, this, this person you prayed with starts to have a cough and fever and feel poorly. They go in over the weekend, they get tested for COVID, and the, sure enough, they're positive for COVID. You've been exposed. You're exposed because within 48 hours of their symptom onset, you spent time with them less than six feet away. Now, you have to isolate because you have been exposed. So there's an incubation period of two days to two weeks. So now for two weeks, you have to isolate to prevent exposure for someone else. Okay, second scenario, you come to Tuesday night prayer, you pray with somebody, you have your masks on, you're six feet or farther apart, you pray together, two days later, they get symptoms, they are positive for COVID, you're not exposed. Because you followed social distancing, you wore your mask, that is not an exposure. There's a very low to, you know, very low risk of transmission of disease. So now you don't have to socially isolate. You can go and work at kids camp like you were scheduled to. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Everybody socially isolate, wear your mask. We're gonna, we're gonna continue to screen and clean. Uh, if you're sick, stay home. Okay, if you come to service and you start getting sick, go home. We want to minimize exposure, not just to prevent the disease. That's we, we want to present the disease. It's a serious disease, okay? But we also want to be able to function as the body. So make sure you minimize exposure in those ways. If you've been exposed, talk to your ministry leader. We'll figure out how to isolate you in a way where you can stay connected. Non-essential activities, you won't want to be doing any of those, but we can work through that on a case-by-case -case basis. Love you. Hope this makes sense. God bless. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.